It's the fourth edition of the Barcelona Women's Trophy, the only annual women's indoor event. Familiar field for this one with the top four from last year back under the roof of the Palau San Jordi. Fifth place last season, Huldebol Barkvet, relegated out, replaced by Alice Minter. So we have the top five in the world, the five riders who between them shared the podium places throughout 2023 in Trial GP. Riders heading out onto the arena floor one at a time in reverse order of their world ranking. Five minutes each to tackle five sections. Slightly different rules compared to X trial, incidentally. Leaning will not be scored in the women's trophy. In the case of a tie, it's the greatest number of clean sections that will determine the count back and settle our rankings. So up and running with section one for Alice Minter. Two marks taken so far, as you can see. Alice Minter, something of a comeback kid, had uh, major knee surgery at the end of 2021 and uh, missed most of 22. Came back with two podiums in the World Championship last season. I think day two in Portugal and uh, day one in Japan. Also Trial of Nations uh, World Champion with Great Britain. Five mark score there in section two. Section three now for 2021 and 23, European champion Alice Minter of Great Britain, the 20 year old. Seven marks from two sections thus far. As we've said previously, no marks for leaning in this uh, women's event. Of course, heading out from section one through section two and three and then we'll have back in the other direction. This uh, section three becomes section four, but in the other direction. And then section five is the uh, reverse of section one. The sections get progressively more difficult as well. Plenty of time being taken here in uh, section number three. Minter's off the side of the bike. Has to be caught by the minder. So that's going to be a five in section three. Back to back failures. Two sections still to go. They are the toughest of the women's trophy. Let's see what Alice can do now in the return direction. One and a half minutes still on the clock. World number five, Alice Minter. Down and heavily so as well. Failure then in section four, 17 marks the progressive score, one to go. 
Hopefully she's fit enough to take her place in that section five. All right. Just collecting her thoughts, I think, somewhat. Hat trick of uh, consecutive failures. Just that section one that she's made it through thus far. A couple of dabs. Moving on then for section five. Well, Mentor's picked herself up off the deck after that fall in section four. For a stab at the last section. This is the biggest step of all of them. And she's up. Goes even higher from here, though. And the time's going to run out before she gets a proper chance to get to the end of. What a shame. And I think that's going to be a failure on time. Well... See it as a 19 mark total here. We're going to wait for official confirmation on that. If she made it to the end on time, no, that has now changed. So, indeed, Alice Minter just running out of time. And it's a 22 mark score out of a possible 25. It's a bit of a baptism of fire in the, uh, the Palo San Jordi for Alice Minter. Just 20 years of age. First three riders out are real young guns. Naomi Monnier next to appear, just 18 years of age from Nîmes in France. And then Andrea Sofia Rabino, who's just 17 years old. Montessa mounted Monnier as a target of 22 marks to beat. To take a provisional lead, Alice Minter scored two marks through this section one and then failed the rest. So Monnier can guarantee that she'll finish at least fourth position if she beats two mark score for Alice Minter here. There is a mark drawn on the, uh, the ground there to give the riders the limit for how far they're allowed to go on the landing. Money is staying within that. Biggest step to come in section one. Left foot goes down. Careful on the landing. And through. Single mark in section one. So Money eight guaranteed to at least finish in fourth position in this Barcelona women's trophy. Section two next up. Naomi Monnier, who was second here in Barcelona, well, has been second in each of the last two editions, actually, behind Emma Bristow. 2022 Women's European Champion, four times French champion, Monnier. 18 years of age, as I've said, and uh, second in the seeding order tonight because she was fourth in the World Championship last year. She was also fourth in 2022. Alice Minter failed this section too. Let's see what Monnier can do. Can she even be a candidate for victory here? Right foot goes down. So that'll be another dab. Makes it successfully through section two, though. So far, so good. On to section three. Runner up here in the Palau San Jordi, hoping to go one better. Be careful on the descent here. Minder with arms up, ready to catch if necessary. Money is setting the benchmark here, knowing that uh, the big guns are still to come. The three riders who finished ahead of her in the World Championship last season. This unique indoor event for women. Barcelona Women's Trophy. Was also a, uh, a mixed teams event, I think, in Po at the end of uh, last season in France. Invitational events. Two of tonight's uh, women were competing in that one. Monnier was among them. Right foot goes down there. This one a little bit scrappy and not surprising because the course has deliberately been created to get gradually more difficult 
as the Raiders go through. This section three, we'll wait for official confirmation on the results here. I think that's going to be a two mark score. Let's see what it's given us. That would be a progressive score of four. It is indeed. So two sections to go. Four marks dropped from three sections thus far. That's a decent effort. Last season, Monnier finished uh, six marks back from Emma Bristow. In second place. Down she goes towards the start of section four. That moves her on to nine. One more to have a go at then. Yes, as I was saying, Emma Bristow won last season on nine marks. Monnier and Berta Abayan both finished on 15, and it was a tie break on time that gave second place to Monnier. And uh, Andrea Sofia Rabino was fourth, and only three marks behind Monnier and Abayan. Really, the, uh, the closest battle last season. In 2022, uh, Bristow and Monnier were only separated for a victory on tie on uh, on a fifth section. Step nicely landed there. One has been given for footing. Monnier trying to press the bike on forward now. Right foot goes down. That's been given us two. Might have been better just taking the mark on the landing there for and having the foot down to use her to, to propel herself forward. But she will make it through section five. So by my reckoning, an 11 mark score. One failure in section four. Two single marks and then uh, two marks in each of sections three and five. 22 from Minta, 11 for Monnier. We wait for confirmation of that. But it will certainly be Naomi Monnier who sets the, uh, the benchmark for the riders to come. Andrea Sofia Rubino next up. Youngest rider in the field, just 17 years of age. She was the Women's Trial 2 champion in 2021. Third in the world in the top flight for uh, each of the last two seasons. Three times Italian champion. Section one, breeze through that one. First rider clean in any section in this Barcelona Women's Trophy. Minta scored two, Monnier scored one through that section one. So strong start then for uh, Rabino. Who was third in uh, 2022. Fourth last season was all she could manage. Strong start though. Here today, back to back cleans. Looking good for a podium spot. If she gets it right in section three, she could guarantee a trip to the rostrum as early as this one. Left foot goes down. Can she use that though to remain in the section? Answer is yes. Minta failed this section three. Monnier took two marks. Rubino dropping her first mark of the run here in section three. Target score of 11. If she beats that, she's on the podium. Ah, oh, but she's down and out in section three. Real frustration as well as she landed, so she obviously felt she could make it through there. Got to collect her thoughts again now for section four. Five marks, the progressive total. 11 still to beat, set by Naomi Monnier. Left foot goes down, sixth mark dropped. Of this Barcelona winning trophy. Section four, still just the one mark for now. Long section though, this one, riders drop down, make a turn, she's got it a bit wrong there, right foot goes down whilst making the turn. And 
now a step in the return direction. Minter and Monnier haven't made it uh, this far. Rubino then making new ground. Four steps here to the finish. Nice work. Andrea Sofia Rubino with two drop marks in section four moves on to seven. Section five to come. Calm being urged now from her assistant for section five. Seven the score. If she beats 11, she's on the podium. Rushing through on that first step. She came perilously close to slipping backwards. That would have been major drama. Still in it for now. She can afford to drop three marks and still be on the podium. Any more than that, she'll rely on one of the two remaining women, Ariane or Bristow, to make some errors. Nice work there, pressing the bike on forward. Still clean as well. Bidding for a third clean of the run. Andrea Sofia Rubino. 11 the target score. Right foot goes down, one drop mark. It's an eight mark score and a trip to the podium for Andrea Sofia Rubino. New provisional pecking order, Rubino 8, Monnier 11, Minter 22. Now, which step of the podium will that be for the Italian? Fourth last year, third in 2022, her first appearance in the Palo San Giordi. Two riders still to come, and they're the two who for five of the last six years have been the top two in the World Championship. Emma Bristow and Berta Abiyan. Abiyan, the home hero, five-time Spanish champion, has the support of the local crowd. 24-year-old, four times Trial of Nation uh, women's champion with Spain. Runner-up in the World Championship each of the last two years behind Emma Bristow. Bristow still the biggest name on the scene for the Women's World Championship at present. Moment, it's Berta Abiyan who takes centre stage. Yeah. He's got to set the benchmark here for Bristow to follow. This home event for Berta Abiyan so means so much to try and unseat the world champion in the Palau San Jordi, a special occasion for Abiyan. Runner up to Bristow here in the inaugural staging in 2021. Just a single mark separated them on a low scoring uh, event on that occasion. Right foot goes down there for Berta Abiyan. First drop mark of her run. She'll be a little bit frustrated by that, bearing in mind that Rubino has cleaned through this section. Let's see what Bristow still can do. Drop mark there, I think, if we uh, have that confirmed. Berta Abiyan. Section three will be next up. Abiyan, formerly with uh, Vertigo, when she appeared here in 2021, has been with uh, Scorper for the last couple of seasons. Fifth and last here in 2022, uh, Palau San Jordi hasn't always been the kindest to her. Third behind Monia after that tie break last year. I think one early mark in this uh, section three, I think that's going to be a second, right foot going down. She's making it through the sections, but she's not making it look easy, you'd say. Emma Bristow, nine times world champion, still to come. That's going to be another mark. Right foot goes down now for Abiyan. Is she taking too much caution through these sections? Monnier, the only one to have made it through here in section three. Inter and Rabino both fail, but not so Berta Abiyan. Three marks in section three. She moves on to progressive score of four. Rabino finished on eight. So to take the provisional lead, Abiyan must score three marks through the remaining two sections. Rabino scored uh, two in section four and one in section five, so it is possible. Berta Abiyan. 24 years of age. Certainly star of the future, but already star of the present. In the Women's World Championship, current world number two. 
hoping to lay down a benchmark to her regular world championship rival Emma Bristow. Two minutes still on the clock. main steps of section four she's made those look easy and by my reckoning that's a first clean in section four so four mark score with one to go if she gets through this one she takes the lead Berta Abiyan four marks to the good against Andrea Sofia Rabino provisional leader for this run from Abiyan Controlled through those first modules. A few main steps to come. Rabino with a single mark, the best of anyone thus far. Section five. Here goes Abiyya. Only the sump used, no mark for footing, so still clean. Second step. Crowd urging her forward now. Again lands it on the sump. Clean in section five. Berta Abiyan takes the lead of this Barcelona Women's Trophy. Abiyan on four, Rabino eight, Monnier 11, Minta 22. All that remains then is to see Emma Bristow, the veteran of the Women's World Championship at 33 years of age. Nine times Women's World Champion to see whether she can make it four wins out of four under the roof of the Palau San Jordi. Three out of three in the previous editions for the Brits. In what could well be her final appearance in Barcelona. Bristo has uh, taken on a new commercial role within Sherco. So still yet to confirm her competition plans for 2024. This season, it's been rumored all winter that it could be her last. Sherco certainly want her to continue and do this season, but even that's still up in the air. So if this were to be an end to her career, she'll be desperately keen to go out on a high. Emma Bristow, third rider, and clean in section one. Berta Abiyan dropped her first mark here in section two. Over to Emma Bristow. Seven times gold medalist in the trial of nations as well. Real stalwart to the Great Britain team runner-up positions also 2019 21 and 22 Spain and Britain duke it out in the uh, world rankings and Emma Bristow the one to beat 48 trial GP wins really took over the baton as a dominant force in the women's world championship but after Lia Santh retired 13 world titles for Santh at that stage. Uh, Return to take the 2021 title from Emma Bristow. Bristow clean through two sections. Rabino was as well. Her run went wrong from section three onwards. Emma Bristow, section three. Still clean for now. Bristow on uh, the new Sherco for 2024. She's been a Sherco representative now since 2013. This latest bike she's only had, uh, she told me earlier on, for just a week. Single mark there dropped for the left foot going down. This is where you want to be as tall as possible, isn't it? Give yourself maximum extension. Bristow manages to remain in the section, that's key. Monnier with two marks, the best of anyone through this section three so far. As I said uh, earlier on in the X-Trial event, 2024 Sherco featuring uh, several improvements compared to last year's new model. About 14 hours or so, uh, Emma Bristow has had to train on this bike. Ready to go this afternoon and looking good thus far. Section three, her first drop marks, and uh, that's going to be another left foot goes down there. So that moves her on to two. Still, half the score of Berta Abiyan with two sections to go after this one. Actually, although it was expected that the bigger steps were going to pose the... Uh, the greatest difficulties is Emma Bristow flies out of the end of section three there for a two mark score. It's actually been uh, technical elements that have proven more difficult than those big steps. 
Sections four and five, both cleaned by Berta Abiyan. Emma Bristow leads by two, with two sections to come. Oh, that's gone wrong though for Bristow. And down she goes to a five, and Berta Abayan will take the Barcelona Women's Trophy in 2023, uh, 2024. Emma Bristow's reign is at an end under the roof of the Palau San Jordi. Drama in the penultimate section. Abayan didn't fail a single section. Emma Bristow fails section four, and that's enough to split them. And Bristow could yet drop further back down the pecking order because she's encountering mechanical difficulties by the looks of things. She's got just over a minute with section five still to complete. Abiyan leads on four, Bristow on seven, Rubino on eight. Sister keeping an eye on the time as well. As she tries to restart the bike. Then. Less than 50 seconds for section five. Love the competitive instinct. A lesser rider would have said, you know what? I can't win now. But even if Bristow can't win, great uh, sportsmanship here being shown as she's going to have a proper go at section five. Long way to come just for five sections. So she's going to make the best uh, possible use of the time here. Had a little bit of time out in Catalonia with, uh, with training, Emma Bristow. She goes. It is going to be the home hero, Berta Abayan, who will celebrate victory at the Barcelona Women's Trophy. But Emma Bristow completes Section 5 with a clean. If that is her final appearance on a bike, then unfortunately she won't end on the high note that she might have hoped. Berta Abayan takes centre stage in the Palau San Jordi, and it's a home winner in the Barcelona Women's Trophy in 2024.
Director de Comunicació i Patrocinis d'Universal, Valle Uramén, d'Altofeu, a la segona classificació.